Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about this Sunjack solar charger. And I uh, got to test out a few different solar chargers, and uh, was very impressed here with this Sunjack. So let's get into uh, some of the specs. So first off, you can tell by the size, I mean very compact here, has a mesh bag for all the extra components, has a controller here for uh, two different USB inputs that I'll get into a little bit later. And what it has is once it does open up, we have about, uh, or we have four different panels here inside of this Sunjack. It's a uh, total of 14 watts. And some other stuff that actually comes with it is a power bank, uh, an 8,000 milliamp power bank. So as far as with my phone, I'm able to charge it two to three times. But I also bring other power packs with me. Uh, this one's 22,000 milliamp. And uh, so if I ever thought that I would need enough juice or even for emergency preparedness, I'd probably carry the... Uh, 22,000 milliamp with me hook it up and if you don't want to use these you could always strap them down with some uh, 550 cord also comes with a one uh, micro USB uh, charger or cable so keep that in mind if you're uh, operating both ports you're probably going to need uh, more than one so as I mentioned there is a smart controller in here with a USB 1 and a USB 2 right now I have it connected to USB 2 uh, they're both uh, 2 amp so once again, it's a smart controller, so it prevents against overcharging uh, and things of that nature. And once again, I had seen some reviews where they said, make sure you stick with USB 2 because you'll get more uh, ampage out of it and USB 1 will be less. But when I did contact Sunjack, they told me that uh, either or and you're good to go because it is a smart controller. So it'll basically detect your device and, uh, you know, pretty much know where to allot the, the amount of power that's needed for that specific device. Now, as you look up uh, here on the little controller, there is a red light on, and that's of course because we have the solar panels open, and even though they're just partially open, they're already receiving a current. So just for the purpose of course this demonstration, just to fit everything into the view here, we do have the 8000 milliamp battery that it uh, does come with here, uh, as far as this particular uh, Sunjack setup. And uh, you can tell here if we go ahead and connect this in, it'll start charging right, all, right off the bat even though of course we're getting less wattage because we only have one and a half panels exposed right now. If we expose them more the way that they're supposed to be, um, obviously you'll be getting a lot more juice to power your device that much quicker. So once again, this is going into the battery itself. You can go ahead and hook up your device, whether it's a tablet or whether it's a phone or other USB device that would take this type of uh, setup. And uh, you can go ahead and connect it directly into it. I don't suggest it, at least for my own peace of mind. Now I'm, so, I'm not some uh, electronic uh, wizard, but I also know that if I was going to hook up my phone, they're very sensitive. Uh, you know, I don't want to cause any kind of damage because they are extremely expensive, a lot more expensive than a battery bank. So what I do is I like to have this hooked up and then go ahead and connect my phone to the actual uh, battery bank here, uh, just giving it another filter. It uh, doesn't matter how smart these things here are, things go awry, it's electronics, there's always uh, some uh, type of failure that could happen. And instead of uh, ruining my phone, I'd rather it stop here at the uh, battery bank. Now in this mesh uh, setup here, there is a little area or a little band where I can go ahead or you can go ahead and uh, stage and secure your uh, battery bank, whether, whether it's the, sun, the uh, 8000 milliamp that came with it or uh, one of the other ones that I showed you previously. That way it does stay in there stationary. Uh, keep in mind here, of course, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm kind of just uh, keeping everything in the viewfinder. But if you are out there, you're going to want to keep this angled and exposed uh, to as much sunlight as you can get. Uh, time is going to vary. Uh, the last time that I had charged my phone a couple days ago that I was out there, I um, basically took, I think it was a little bit less than five hours, but I'm talking about direct sunlight. Sun was pounding on the area that I was in. So that was pretty good that I was able to charge my phone from pretty much 3% to 100% in, um, in a little less than five hours. Once again, that was ideal conditions. Uh, so keep in mind when it is a little bit hazy.